Young adults are seeking mental health treatment at a much higher rate than older age groups over the past five years. KCBD News Channel 11 Zillan Via takes a look at the numbers and sits down with sits down with a local therapist to see why therapy has become such a valuable tool. Right now, young adults are taking more action to improve their mental health. According to numbers from the CDC, the percentage of mental health counseling in the past 12 months for adults ages 18 through 34 was just 12% in 2019. But in 2023, it rose to a little less than 20. Tim White is a co-founder of Dr. White & Associates. As a licensed therapist, he wants to start by learning more about his patients and figuring out the root of their problems. We work through, just I just help people to, to begin this process of self-reflection and introspection that then begins to understand where is the anxiety and depression coming from and what can I do to respond to that rather than react. Why well, believe social media is playing a big role in young adults needing to make a significant change to their well-being. People spend uh, so much of their time uh, scrolling on their phone. We're only seeing what people want us to see on social media, and that's a very polished version of reality. And anxiety and depression rates have also increased more than 3% in adults ages 18 through 34. The day is the same every day. I, I get up, I, I go to work, I do this menial job that barely pays for my apartment and, and my groceries. I come home, I scroll on my phone, go to bed, and press repeat the next day. If you're considering therapy, White suggests you do some research to get the most out of your sessions. Look at what's out there available on Psychology Today and, and on Google, and you know, kind of think about who would I connect well with. And if you're hesitant about starting, White says seeking help is not a bad thing. Seeking a therapist doesn't mean that there's something intrinsically wrong with you as a person. You're not, there's, 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 nothing, there's nothing wrong with you, but you've lived some experiences that were painful, adverse, traumatic even. And, and the takeaway from those, those traumatic experiences, those painful, adverse experiences, probably has led you to believe something about yourself and the world around you that may not be true. Dylan Villa, KCBD News Channel 11.